talk to him a little Patreon. bit. Patreon. Yeah. You're the reason that we know we on. Yeah. Patreon. Uh-huh. Pick up the rock man, them. What a guan. Uh-huh. Patreon. Uh-huh. Glade yeah. water in your sister and your daughter. Yeah. Hey. Patreon. Uh-huh. You the reason that we check me out. <laughs> You pay that free every month, and we thank you. Yeah. Your solution was to, you know what, man? We back, baby. Uh, we back. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Black Freckles, aka Hype. You can see it on the Jaguar jersey, oh, man. Wow. Let's say Hype on it for for a big reason, man. It's a big day today. It's your boy Rebel, and this is indeed the, the raw, raw Hype. Back, back for, for another, another week of that thing. thing. Shout out, we got our boy in the house, man. What's your name, man? What's your name, my good man? This nigga, uh, keep a different name, boy. Russ. See? Yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I, just I, I never call totally that nigga that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, that this, nigga like, this uh, my boy. Rigor Russ. I leave nigga dead. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, hey, intro the nigga, right nigga. Right. It's, right. it's on is the thing. Right? Uh, WrestleMania 33. See? I, I always liked that name. Yeah, man, I, think that's, that's I like that, actually. Right. I really don't see a lighter, though. Anyway, what's up, guys? It's in the case over there. Yeah. Wherever the tray is. Y'all know today is a big day, man. Why is it such a big day, my good man? It's, to the, it's the day that Trevor Lawrence takes this city by storm, you know? Mm. He's going to ball out today. I'm going to go watch him. Mm-hmm. Russ going to go watch him. You bailed on watching him. They don't say that. I'm not a die harder. After you promised, you would be. <laughs> but you know. I promised because you did it on some. No, here's what happened. You did, uh, man, listen, if I can't find nobody to buy this, I'm going to take my dog. And I was well, like, then when my dog said he was going, I stopped looking for a nigga to buy the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I like shit, I'm going with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bro, oh, I'm stopping by the liquor store you got that from me, man. Allegedly, <laughs> of course, oh, because my, my, my. Uh, all stadiums do not re- acquire, allow outside liquor. They need security. That's the security. Bro, I went in that bitch. I had 40 <laughs> bottles on me before that bitch. <laughs> you can ask me that. I would pass it out bottles to strangers. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> got a go go gadget coat on that motherfucker. Got I different bottles of liquor. I would have them shits out to strangers, bro. That like, no bullshit. Man, they be charging too much for too stuff over there, bro. Like, no bullshit. We went to the Saints game last week. Saints and Packers played here. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. Bro, I got one drink. That was like $30. Dog. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, There's tickets that cost $30. Exactly, bro. We should have got the $30. <laughs> <laughs> and drink all day. And I, I, I say, immediately thought of Tremaine when I see the Saints and the Packers was playing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Talk, I, around we got off the plane, he was like, man, how you just told me the game on me in Jacksonville? I'm like, what? <laughs> hey. Hey, this the right end, right? This one? Yes. This like a filter or something? Yes. I don't be knowing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I truly don't. So, um, yeah, that's going to be an event. I guess um, yeah. I'll talk more about it after that, motherfucker. I'm a little nervous, if we're being honest, man. But um, y'all niggas had all these stories before this podcast. One of them was the football. That's why I was trying to look oh, for yeah. some shit while y'all get y'all oh, football man. rocks it's off shit. real quick. It is what it is. Y'all already know what's going to happen, man. Trevor finna do whatever. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 Trevor finna do whatever. Oh, man. I'm going to save that as a clip. Trevor, my dog, man. man. I'm always cautiously optimistic with this team, bro. I can't go into it thinking that they finna be, at least do the right things, bro. I can't imagine that no. they play well. Today. I can't either, bro. Well, I really also, can't. Denver sucks. Mm-hmm. So, but I don't know, man. I'm just going to go out there and get drunk, bro. I don't, I don't even really drink like that no more, but I'm probably going to do the same. You want to be on the Tupac no more? I know, man, right? I've been really proud of you, man, because you don't me seeing you drinking. Yeah, I don't really drink like that I remember no one time I came to record. This nigga was drinking in a way that I say, what are you doing, yo? Like, the, like the nigga took like a shot or two and then had another drink. drink with the shot. And I'm like... Yeah. I'm off in the pool. Man, it's up, like man. I'm tired of niggas hating. It's like eight or nine in the morning, my nigga. Be, man. On the Lord's Sunday, we here to record. This nigga taking shots. I'm definitely taking some edibles. Some edibles in that bitch. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like I can legally do that, kind of. I realized a little early on I was going to make this a Patreon episode. Oh, well, even better. Let's Patreon talk about that gangster shit. <laughs> Water pussy warm-up. ass. I was like, this nigga can't no go to the fridge. I'm taking plenty of edibles, but I go to, hey, I'm bringing bottles of liquor in that mother. I was like, wait, why is so this? scary, It ain't scary, He the scariest like, 
nigga, bro. He ain't want me to show my gun on camera. Hey, bro, I can't gotta, talk about oh, nothing. Man, we I we, got, America, we have a problem. Look, you can't. You hey, we, fuck, nigga. <laughs> bow, bow. I've been playing 2K, and in 2K. What you, you be doing during the time out? You have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, would, I would mention that, but real quick. Uh, you have to you have to build like your corporate status up, your personal status. I wouldn't know. They deleted that. my dick about it. All of that, out. right? So that's new. Yeah, yeah, you can, it's uh, brand new. So you can make an album and shit. You make an album. You get a label. Nigga, I got my label last night, yeah, man. It finally like changed. Label on two K. Yeah, RPG shit. But no, if you do certain shit or say certain shit, your corporate level goes down, right, and right. you raise your flashy level. So pulling a burnout on the fucking screen is gonna ra- take our corporate. Nah, <laughs> bro, we gonna get sponsorships from like the like NRA and shit, man. Right. Hey, do that camera look crooked since it's a picture? It Patreon? look crooked to me, but I don't. It, it looks like that is crooked. What we're looking at. You want me to fix it, man? I guess give it a roll. All right, man. Y'all do some Patreon type shit, then, Appreciate man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. What's, what y'all? I ain't on the Patreon, man. I man, you bring your ass movie. over here, I, man. How we doing on Patreon? Oh, so little shit like that. We drop early. We, we try to drop. I try to drop two Patreon exclusive episodes a month, but okay. sometimes we get okay. one. But I a lot of times, hey, I just be wilding on that bill. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much. Oh, like warm up. We be freestyling there and yeah. doing a lot of the warm up. We made, and talking. Didn't we make a Patreon that was all freestyles? Yep. Oh, that shit was crazy, yeah. boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. And the shit no. down over there, they got certain shirts like the horribly hilarious shirt you can only get if you're a Patreon. Okay, okay. Um, so a little shit like that, man. And again, like right. I said, now we got the website, rawhype.com. Pull up. It's live now. Well, it's going to be live when I drop this episode. Um, it's live. But it's live, baby. Yes. We live, baby. It's definitely um, live. So it's more shit that I'm going to do on there and right. then put on there. We got like Raw Hyper of the Month and shit like that. Okay. You got to be a Patreon to be a Raw Hyper got, of the Month, though. Well, I was thinking that. Yeah, bro. You got to be. I was thinking Yeah, you got to. I mean, because like. It only makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. But and then at the end of the year, whoever, you know, we put all 12 of them in a, like a hat or something mm-hmm. and we pull it out and we give. The a raw PS2. Hyper of the year. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> the raw hype, we're gonna get a PS2. <laughs> <laughs> we put some raw hype stickers on it, nigga. Memorabilia. Like, you know. Even AG, I haven't gotten into the whole being a part of a Patreon at all. Like, mm. have, are, you a, are you a patron of any other place? Uh, Amp and them. I'm too. Mm. I'm a Patreon. Or like, uh, yep, website? it's an app. And, um, yeah. yeah, it's an app. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Patreon of Amp. I'm a amp, I'm on amping them my highest Patreon shit. They shit like forty. Fuck me. What they doing over there? Oh no, I don't even be on that motherfucker like that. I want a refund, <laughs> goddamn. Them niggas. Oh, no bullshit. Yeah, if you are, yeah. if you're a top dollar Patreon, we jerk you off every Saturday to make you shit. feel good. They nigga got my address and shit. They were like, we're gonna send you a, a random action podcast shirt. I was like, hell yeah. What I messaged that shirt? nigga and I said, man, where the fuck my shirt is? That nigga didn't ask nothing about the address or nothing. That nigga just said, uh, when the next time you would tell? <laughs> nigga, I gotta come get that motherfucker <laughs> for forty dollars a month. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Yeah. I gotta come get it, but yeah, y'all still have my address. I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? What y'all playing? And then uh, he was like, "When you gonna be in town?" I was like, "Tomorrow." He's like, "All right, I got you." I haven't heard from that nigga since, man. <laughs> nigga didn't ask my size or nothing. <laughs> 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 nah, he did ask my size. Okay, well, thank you. Man. Nigga about to pull up. Nigga, you look like an extra large. Well, at least that's all I got. So here you go. Give me the shirt he wearing and shit. <laughs> Here, hey, nigga. hey, I forgot what size shirt you got on. Yo, size. Here you go, nigga. Can I get my shirt? I got you, nigga. Yo, size. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't appreciate that. We're those. building yeah, on the man. Patreon over there, man. We try to make it, uh, you know, we try to make it a raw, hype free place. And what I mean by that is we're, we're free to be the raw, yeah, hype. I didn't say some shit on the, on the Patreon. Some, man, we had a some Patreon. Some shit that can't even get out, man. This one that I didn't drop, but I got to get it when I leave here. Uh-huh. That we said when we stopped, it's like, oh, this is the best Patreon. We didn't have it. Oh, it was. To the point that where I got to cut like yeah. half of it and put it at the front of the actual episode because it was yeah, too it good. Was dope. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, it was dope. Just fucking just like, sorry, dope. Patreon. Not to say y'all don't deserve the best. Right. But sometimes we got to cater to the rest. Ooh, that's a boy. I gotta we got to let them. <laughs> we got to let them know why they got to come over here and join you, man. I hear a beat skit. Oh, but let me pull, let me pull that on, side up. baby. <laughs> <laughs> let me go. Man, what happened to my Chrome, bro? Who been touching my MacBook, bro? You been touching on your Mac. I feel like it was you, bro. It would never be me, I tell you that. Bro, um, 
So yeah, come on over to the Patreon if you haven't been a Patreon. If you are a Patreon, we appreciate y'all continuing to be Patreon. Yo, it's funny shit, man. My daughter loves the Patreon intro song. Oh, that bitch hard. I said something to you about it the other day. But she sings it in school. She's like, I told her, she's like, my daddy makes a good song. She's like, she made me a song. It's like, what's the song? It's like, Adrian. Like, Adrian. You do know I don't say Adrian, right? She's like, yeah, I know. That motherfucker remixed, remixed my shit, yo. Patreon type B, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who it was? It was AG from 2K. Uh, no, AJ. Agent, yeah. yeah. Agent was on his 2K talking about he about the uh cause he was doing the 2K shit where they have a uh, they rapping shit. That nigga put in tight beat on the uh, damn little type beat. Type beat. I said, yo! We started that. Come on! Everybody got a tight beat now, huh? Everybody got a tight beat uh-huh. now, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When you wanna freestyle over something, what you search? It's us. Tight beat. And if uh-huh. you wanna talk about bitches with what you search, a bitch. Type beat. Type and beat. if you wanna talk about shooting them guns or just having a fun, you probably gonna type it in your search engine. Go ahead and get it. Go on and fuck with it. Go ahead and know that we out here never titting it. Jags, we about to win on them fool. Hold on. Yeah, we are. It's still a Patreon. We gonna keep it going on. I cannot say nothing wrong. Cause y'all playing every fucking day. I hope we get along. Two dollars, five dollars, or even ten. Go uh-huh. bring a friend. Go on, show them how to win. Uh-huh. You can only listen to what we delivering to you every motherfucking Patreon. weekend. Oh, oh. It's the Jag, so we shitting on the <laughs> and nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga like, well, he ain't did it. Nigga said, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget where we at, baby. I ain't rapping today, man. He ain't rapping, he ain't rapping. He ain't this beat kind of hard. Man, you see, that shit took me like, uh, it reminds me of like you, Eve. It's an easy freestyle beat, though. It's a good freestyle beat. But you got to keep up. You got to speak a little fast. You cannot huh? do it. Slow down. Got to go on their ass. Uh-huh. Hyper mode on their ass. Uh-huh. Got to be a hyper beast. Uh-huh. They say that hyper beast, and I'm saying the least. That nigga G got to be, got to be the capital one. I hate getting capital funds. Capital Ooh. nigga with this capital gun. Capital and run, because he ain't got... Stop <laughs> 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 We're gonna end up having to clip that out and put it on the other podcast and shit. Uh, Name this episode Copy and Paste. (laughs) Copy and Paste. You should actually name it Copy and Paste. What type of is it though? Patreon type type (laughs) beat. It's an anytime. You can type in anything. Like I used to always go NBA, your boy type beat, but we wrapped on all of those beats. So now I literally just type in like the last thing a person said type beat. And there's more than one Patreon yeah, type B. I know y'all here. Like, what about this is crazy. Patreon? <laughs> 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 that nigga like, uh, now go ahead and subscribe. Hi. Florida Wars, I, where I reside, man. That nigga started, fucked up his ass. Hey, I haven't slept all, all night, guys. Well, yeah, I ain't you that got sharp, an excuse. Man. Hey, this nigga been Mainly fiddling with drugs. this phone the whole time, right? He been, day. like, turning it right and make sure it's good. And he'll move it, and he's like... Put it back right like he's doing. That nigga can't go one minute without picking up that iPhone 6S Plus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got a 6S Plus and shit. That mother got four gigabytes. That nigga, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga phone got an anniversary, yeah, nigga. Yeah, it's got an this nigga phone yeah. always be broke, bro. Your phone, bro. Look at that case. That nigga put that bitch in a, that nigga put that bitch in a briefcase. <laughs> That motherfucker got a bodyguard. Yeah, my first case I done had in years, bro. It's the only phone you ever had that ain't That nigga make sure he never got to buy another one. That nigga one. break that hole and just keep using it and shit. I hate my people that do that, cut, man. Like, man. What's wrong yeah, with you, man? What the fuck have you been up to, man? Working, bro. Working. Last time I heard him and you yeah, asked that, he said the exact same thing. He had two jobs, too, the last yeah, time we said. Yeah, jobs no more. What's up with you and old T.J. Wheeler having two jobs and shit, man? I had yeah, two we jobs. Got, we don't got no other responsibility. We don't got to actually sit down and watch a child at some point. Or yeah, you know, it's a very when you having a kid, man. <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> the good. logical next if question. If it don't happen by thirty five, bro, I think I'm just gonna ride it out, bro. I respect that. That nigga got his biological clock ticking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if my body gonna be able to handle a kid <laughs> after about thirty five. That's a fact, bro. I ain't gonna be. Honest. I'm feeling the same way. My snapback ain't gonna be the same. Ball with my kid, if I can't hoop with him, I completely I feel the exact same way. That's why I feel like I'm like too old to have any more kids. Man, and, and you know they always say the kid will remind you, man. Because my daughter, she'll come. Like yesterday, we was in bath and bath and bed, bath and body works, 
And we Most running up every expensive place on the fucking just planet. Fucking disgusting. Yeah, my daughter in there, going there and pop tags, nigga. Man, I'm talking shit. lotions, hand sanitizers. Nigga. I'm like, what is happening? There was an amazing smelling candle in there. I said, I need. Oh, they this smell. Candle. They candle smell. That dude, motherfucker, thirty five dollars. <laughs> I just have to 30. think about you, candle. No, that motherfucker, man, you want to grab? That bitch in run. Let's go. Oh man, real quick, while we on the subject, Adri strikes again. What she did, bro? We went in there. And Adri was talking to the cashier lady and shit. And cashier lady said, y'all got a, uh, what you call it, a bed, bath, and body card or whatever the fuck? And it was like, no. And then my lady said, like, I think I got some coupons. So she went over by customer service and shit, tried to get the coupons. Customer service lady said, you ain't got shit, bitch. She come back coupons, over to me. Man. She come back over to me. She's like, I guess I deleted them. I said, you never had them. <laughs> right? And then Adri was talking, it's okay, mom. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. <laughs> and then the fucking lady's like, oh my gosh. Lady pulled her card out her bag, nigga, stuck it in. We got $40 off. Damn. I was like, man, lady, ble- hey, shout out to Veronica one time. If you're listening, we appreciate you, Miss Veronica. I have a feeling Adria she's not. Adria gets some shit about it. You know? <laughs> I, I respect it, man. It happens, I love it, man. man. Pass that on to her. I ain't got to do it now. I, Bruh, got- I can imagine having a child that definitely like, why did my scope of it definitely widened my Nigga, scope, I, it, like for sure. Ain't nothing you can even do about it. Like, it it's like built in. Yeah, if you're not a It's like you person. unlock a new level. <laughs> even if Some you are. Some people don't give a fuck even more. <laughs> there you go. I'm about to say, like, even if you are. I don't are, give a fuck. You, you take it to another game. level. But never. <laughs> Shit. But honestly, it's like as insane as I can be sometimes, it's like a good thing for me to have somebody that I got to be responsible for and shit. Like, because yeah, I might jump off a bridge. See what I'm saying? I was saying this shit the other day. I was telling Adri. Oh, I always say I love three-year-old Adri because she just was sweet, loving, and nothing. I was like, this Adri now, I'm responsible for her. She come home with homework. I got to sign the book. I was on a fucking teacher conference the other day. I was like, man, you, are, I got responsibilities with you now. Yeah, yeah, you ain't no awesome, Adri. Man. It's not. No, nah, that kind of shit ain't awesome. Like, I remember going to softball practice and shit. shit I remember My daughter being that motherfucker. Like, that mother oh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, like, me came, too. We came and shit, and she's like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. I was like, yo, we came and see you. Yeah, we didn't want to like, be fuck here. This shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's very weird, man. Life is very weird too and, often, And man. it don't stop. No, it definitely doesn't stop. And it don't quit. I actually wanted to ask y'all a question. Go What's ahead. up? So, like, you got an old lady. Mm-hmm. You've had an a old lady in your life. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to... I name, still do right? currently, in case that came across wrong. Oh. Yeah. What the I'm fuck saying, did you like, say about that me? That nigga's like, you used to have Beatrice. I know. I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm... That's what I'm getting to, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, you, in a past life, you probably was a wild boy. I mean... I was a wild boy in like, this I, life. Before you... Like, still? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Patreon. Exactly. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm My listening. My question is, how did you decide that this woman was going to be the one that you rode? For me, she she decided it almost. And what I mean See, when I said that, it, when I mean when I say that is, like you you're gonna know, and the girl's gonna make you know. Like she gonna do shit or be there for shit or be a part of shit that like is almost undeniable. Right. And you're like you just walk into it. You know what I'm saying? Same with parenthood for the most part. You are gonna walk into something naturally, but you gotta work at it. You know I what I'm swear saying? To my make answer sure had to do with like parenthood. And <laughs> it's the same yeah, type of no shit. Bullshit. Like for me, right? Mm. My daughter is like, she's smart. She cool. She a lot of these things. And I'm not saying that on no, you know me. I'm not like on some, I live in a fantasy world and shit. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of her good characteristics come from, she listens to me. Okay. <laughs> and I like people that listen to me. <laughs> and people that listen to me will have better lives. Right. Okay. This young lady that I'm with is the first woman that I've ever really dealt with that listens to me. And a standpoint of I'm going to just knock it out and I'm not going to do it on no, oh, I'm I'm insecure or oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. It's like I actually comprehend why this makes sense right. mm-hmm. and I'm yes. going to follow your lead on this one. It's not just I'm blindly following. Exactly. I'm learning why following you is the right thing to do the more you show me that yeah. following you is the right thing to right. do. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm old. I've always been single. Yeah. Like, my whole fucking life. You like feel I me? I had two so, women in my entire life. And yeah. this last one, I had me 10 years now. So, shit, yeah. she take up. Yeah. <laughs> so, for me, it's got to be. And then, like y- y'all can both say this. And this ain't no arrogant shit because it's not even really a compliment to myself. Yeah. But you've never met anybody else like me. You I'm just haven't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you just haven't. So, in a lot of ways, I'm I'm a lot to handle. And then in a lot of ways, I have to deal with somebody else that you ain't never met nobody like them. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so dealing with a motherfucker yeah, is like you because, surprised as I'm surprised at the yeah, same time. Yeah. We both surprised. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm 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 hard to understand sometimes because I got some crazy sides to me, and then I have some things that I just ain't gonna speak on or things that ain't none of your motherfucking business. And it's a lot of stuff that go on in like relationships that's so common and normal that when you tell a woman like, hey, that ain't none of your motherfucking mm-hmm. business, they can't even accept it. Finally. They can't understand it. Like I didn't have bitches that I'm like kicking it with. We've been fucking for so many years and this and that. And it's like I want to meet your daughter. Like no, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You to, you exactly. Know. And it's it's like the reason that you not though really is because I know I'm never going to seriously fuck mm-hmm. with you. You know what I'm saying? And then like you offended by shit like that. Like I would never be offended if some woman didn't want me to meet her daughter. I don't give a fuck about your daughter anyway. <laughs> if you want me to be completely <laughs> honest with you. Exactly. I would prefer you not have a daughter. <laughs> 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 or, if, or if you do, don't tell me about exactly, it. Exactly, shit. Where you be going uh, in the morning at six, seven with a bag of snacks? You got like a homeless or like a cat or something? The ducks you feed or something? Like dead ass, nigga. What you got already on your phone? <laughs> but, <laughs> but but all jokes aside, it's like I'm 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 difficult. So it's got to be somebody that that want to take the time to understand me, man. Mm. You and know. see, and, and I'm not difficult. Be- my I was bad. just about to clean I'm you up. I'm not difficult because I'm difficult. I'm difficult because I'm not like everybody else. Different. So I might say something and you take it a certain kind of way, but it actually should be taken at face value. Like, let's say you said something to me and I answered. Like, it could be something like about. You're in college or something. Let's say, you know, and I just be like, hey, I don't give a fuck about your college classes. Like, people take it as like, wow, he's an asshole. But I looked at it. I say, I'm say, i saying it from a standpoint of, I hope you get straight A's. <laughs> I t- <laughs> you feel me? So it's like that kind of mentality. It's like, usually when someone says, I don't give a fuck about your college, they're an asshole. And they wish you the, the worst. And it's like, no, I'm not saying it that way. And I'll explain it to you if you yeah. want to have a conversation about it. To say, damn, for real, it's like that. And I'll be like, oh, no, it's not like that. I hope you get straight A's. I just don't give a fuck about mm-hmm. it. It's why I didn't go to college <laughs> and why I didn't do this. Because it just ain't my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I ain't even interested in hearing about the shit. But I definitely wish you the best. Mm-hmm. So, and particularly with women, they don't have that because of how the things that you say or, or the way you say them, how it make them feel. Yep. So, <laughs> it's hard to take somebody at their word yeah. if your feelings hurt. What episode you was like, women only care about they do. how they feel. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. Bro, I thought of that. It's the truth. That yes. Come on Damn, now. Bro. And I be telling him all the time, Come I was like, on. it's not even a negative because if men actually start to understand this and realize it, right. they'll understand that it's a lot of shit that women do that's not as malicious as you think it is. Mm-hmm. You be like, damn, this bitch heartless. Damn, this bitch that. It's like, no, it don't even cross her mind because she's so focused on how she feel. It don't even cross her motherfucking mm-hmm. mind. You know what I'm saying? When I know something don't cross your mind in a non-malicious way, like if you forget my birthday, and I'd be like, damn, Russ came over Keith with a nigga for two hours and forgot it was a nigga birthday. You know what I'm saying? And then later you tell me, like, man, I had so much shit going on and I got this and I got this and I got this and I got this. And I'm thinking like, damn, I'm happy that I was there for him. Mm-hmm. And I'm right. sitting over here, th- you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like that kind of perspective. Like a lot of times the shit to deal with women, they non-maliciously do some shit that really look like fuck shit that's not. But, and it's because they are so absorbed evil. in what, how they feel. <laughs> They're just evil, man. They absorb the how they feel and it's not something that they have control of i was just talking to my cousin and right? I, people take that as an insult and i was it's just not. talking to my cousin right uh and he was basically saying he got this girl that he's off and on and off again with and she came down here to visit him and shit and everything and um i know he a patreon so he gonna hear this i hope he don't give her his code but um anyway they was getting into a conversation about whatever and she was asking him because he was telling her that he had a panic attack the other day for the first time and she was asking him, well, what happened? I really want to know what happened because of the panic attack. And he was like, basically, you know, I had a real fucked up relationship with this last bitch I was with, and some shit happened, and this shit freaked me out, and I had a panic attack. And she immediately got angry at him because he had a panic attack about another bitch. About somebody else? So that, That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. That's that's a woman. So to she, you, you'll be like, damn, this bitch don't give a fuck about me. Understand? And that's how I've been all these years, and it's how I've always been single. Because if something like that happens to me, to me, I translate that to, to 
You right. don't give a fuck about me. That's easy, it's easy to do. It's easy to do. It's, it's a logical <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> so, so he called me with the shit. I'm, and I'm so like, glad you back there. But what I said because, because it's, 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 it's that's a perfect example of what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm but the thing is, she's not being malicious. Mm -mm. Her feelings are hurt. So now she's expressing that her feelings are hurt. But let me let me let me give but you another. But it layer. is whack. Let me give you another layer, right? He then talks to his mom, you know, because his mom know the girl and shit. So of course they're gonna talk. And then his mom agrees with him, her. The solution is, well, buy her some flowers yep. and say sorry. Yep. Damn. I said to my nigga, I said, hey, please mm -hmm. don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't fucking but do you know why his that. mama suggested that? You have any clue? It make her feel better. No. That's exactly and why. You know why. It makes her feel good. You know why? She's because that's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. And that's all that matters to them. That is 100% of why she gave that answer. Go make her feel Go good. Go make her feel Even good. Even if she dead ass wrong. Right, right. And that's something that you have to learn and deal with <clears throat> if you're going to actually be with a woman. You're going to have to take the time to make her no, but feel my good. Thing. Then you can take a route that I like to take. Whereas you make them confront them. I told him how to handle it. I go, when, when you talk to her, you let her know, hey, just know, I will never share any real thing about me with you again okay. because you weaponized it against me. And granted, I understand how this may make you feel this way. Naturally, you can't control it. But imagine me giving you a moment that was a moment to me, and you immediately flipped that around and attacked me with right, it right. to the point now where you got people telling me I need to apologize to you. So I will never do that again because of how you made me feel. What that does to her is internalize. I wouldn't say it. that to her. To I'm saying that's why. That's why. That's why we two different sides of the same coin. Can baby. I tell you why? Though? <laughs> Let me finish. I love the, the middle, <laughs> but I don't like the beginning and the end. And it's because when you, I actually learned this from you. <laughs> When right. you say, I will never tell you something again, it's going to hurt her feelings, and everything that you say after that is going to be pointless and go one, in one ear and out the other. Absolutely. But then this, it's a maintainable thing. You can't just say that once and it be a one-off. No, the next time you may be sad or something, and she comes and she asks, wait, what's going on? I was like, man, actually, man, I know better than to tell you. So she going to then feel away like, no, no, I don't want to be do this. These things. I, this I, listen, man, I would never do sadly, these part of what I was telling him is, this is sadly how you manipulate somebody into treating you See, how you I would do it a different way. I would do it a different way. This is how I would do it. Protect your happiness out right now on Amazon Kindle. <laughs> right. Teach people how to treat you. Let's, I think say, that's, uh, let's say he did this. Chapter two, I think. All right. Let's say he went and bought her some flowers right. and said he's sorry. Right? Then she's feeling good. Right? And then he talked to her and he says, I do want you to know, you know, I, I want to tell you about my life. I want to express myself to you. But, of course, I never want to hurt your feelings, right? right? But then by the same token, when I do express myself to you and you get mad, it hurts my feelings. So it really puts me in a position where I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do because I want to talk to you and tell you what's going on. But at the same time, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Then you make her give you the answer. As I'm saying, it's two different ways of the same thing. He did the more... The because more. that's the, what you have to do. <laughs> but it's no, because they're vengeful. You but you have to pick. It depends on which one you're talking to. That's how knowing who you're delivering what them. to. No, nigga. Every one of them, you some give it to them, them like this. Some of them, if you give them that out, they taking that motherfucker. What's the out? There is no out. The out is you need to tell me what to do. And then how you said how I'm reassuring it and basically bringing it back up later mm -hmm. when you say, I know not mm -hmm. to tell you. Then when you bring it back up, that's when you say, well, babe, you told me that you wanted me to do so-and-so, so-and-so. You bring it back up that way because you're you're kindly weaponizing her own words. When you give them something that they don't want to hear, they shut down and it makes it pointless. And I swear I learned that from you because no, I yes. used to argue with my baby mama. You used to say, your package too wrong for her to even comprehend what you're saying even though you're right. I learned it. But, I literally, then, mind you, mind you, I went no. farther with it. <laughs> listen, but I was but like, listen, that's what made my wheels start turning. But that is, right. your, your baby mama. It's all of them. No. I'm she's a different brand than this other Ask girl that I'm lady. talking about. But tell your old lady to listen to this and see what she's saying. My lady's like. a different brand too. But here's my point. Here's my ultimate point. What it's I told him to do. When I ask some examples, it's like, everybody I know is like that, but that ain't how it is. Because I train motherfuckers to be different. Like, when you're around me, you just said you learned some shit from me and then you took it to your own level. When you're around me, you're going to get some shit from me, yo. So you then deal uh, with me. Also, it's, it's, it's own world. also, I do agree with what you're saying. What you're saying and how you're saying it, that has to be done as well. But it has it can't be done All as much time. as the Second, other. But yes. this is his initial time. This is the first time he's standing up to his girl. Let me say this. Oh, it ahead. worked. What well, did? 
He had the conversation with her. She felt like shit. She apologized to him. They apologies aren't real. No, but my point is, that's he, not, none of a, that shit they finish, do is nigga. real, bro. The, you have to understand. She did that too. so she'll feel better. Per, but <laughs> you, you're talking you. to people who would <laughs> never <laughs> offer an apology. You. So even to get a fake one, it's tough. I don't want a fake that's one. That's what I'm telling. But yeah, she'll give it to you in a heartbeat. You hey, just know that it's not real. Yes, but she, yeah. she knows it's not real. But she's delivering it to you like she want you to believe it's real. You yes. know it's not real, yes. but you but, know her even trying to present this is award enough. But it's like the a point, nomination, nigga. The point of it <laughs> I'm is... I'm happy to be nominated. The point of it is, though, <laughs> the apology is so you can start being nice to me again. That's why they apologize. It's for their own personal <laughs> gain. They don't give a fuck. It's so they can feel better. But and you, and you, when you, when you, when I, when I say, when you say you give her that opportunity, she gonna take that motherfucker. Mm. When you give her that opportunity, she gonna take that motherfucker. That's her just saying, "Oh, I'm sorry." Mm. I promise you, she not finna change. But she's she not never finna, finna change. A woman <laughs> will change if you fucking speak to her with her own words and you trick her into thinking that. Oh, what you have going on is what's so important. Like, I promise. And then they become so ride or die for you, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. They, they, they will ride. They will ride. Will ride. <laughs> 2K okay analogy. When you do certain things like that, you might raise your flashy life with them, right. but not raise your corporate. And I so, get what you're saying. Yes. But the, the reason that you got to give it to them like you gave it to them 10% of the time is because you do have to knock them down to bring them down. <laughs> you have to. That's, that's just the, the truth. You have to, <laughs> him that's doing that, truth. him standing up for that's her and doing truth. that to her, then made her reassess and came back him a I'm different way. You. And from there is how you then show her, all right, you, do. you know that I'm willing to yep. hurt your feelings. You know that I'm willing to take yep. you there. I don't want to ever yep. do that. So please deal with yes. me like this and I will continue to deal with you like that and but knocking them down or bring them back up lets them know one you're not a pussy yes two it lets them know that like uh, they gives them that feeling that he might leave yes you. fearful you have to keep those feelings into a woman chest at all times at she all can times. never think that you will never leave her you but so the, it then becomes your job on you how you sprinkle it very productive <laughs> oh it's still productive, still productive. it's <laughs> bars it's bars these are bars, bro. I'm saving your life. No, but listen. <laughs> I'm saving your life and getting you a wife, my nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it sounds hey, like rigor mort rigor mort is rust. If you listen you to what I'm saying, all of it. if you listening to what I'm saying, all of I'm it. basically saying if you really like somebody and you want to be with them, your goal should be to make her happy and make her feel good. You need I'm sorry, all if you take that and you think it's chauvinistic or misogynistic or whatever the fuck, you're wrong. Here's why you need all of it. I don't know if you're wrong that because you think that what you you just said to manipulate hey. your woman. Another two K I mean, analogy. Lying, Another two K analogy. If you get high in your corporate, you'll get different opportunities than if you get high in your flashy. Facts. So and you Facts. can't raise both but, at the same but time. Me and Rebel <laughs> said this a long time ago on the podcast. Every relationship that you have, you and the other person are using each other. Mm -hmm. And that sounds bad when it comes out of each other's on somebody's mouth, but it's like I was saying earlier when I say this is how I view things, and if I say that, people view it a certain kind of way. All right? So, like, how it would not sound like extremely misogynistic. Damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Talking about manipulation earlier. Oh, yeah, that's what you yes. Thank you, man. Come on, man. All We're right. here today, boy. Is that the point is... We got to start the real show soon because we rocking and rolling. Yeah, I know. All right, like... Me and you. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, me and you, homies, right? Yeah. So, um, I say things that are funny. I say them to you so you will like me. Mm -hmm. So you will have a good time when you're Nate, around me. I was about me. to say that. All right, okay. That's manipulation. Yep. I could say nothing. That's true. But I want to turn whatever you got going on into a good time. Has a a, a, a negative connotation of, yes. when it's not. It has a reputation. My goal here yes. is to get whatever I want. Yes, that's my goal. And but I hope also, you get what you want exactly, in the process. Therefore, exactly, we both win. Exactly. I might have that's to the help person guide that you, you that you want to be in a relationship with. The so, person. Right, that, so maybe the word just set off a trigger in my. It all, that's what I. That's literally that's exactly what, what I was humans. talking about. When I say that's why I'm difficult to do, that's what happens with because if I tell a woman that same thing and she takes like this, she's like, "What the, what fuck? the fuck?" You feel what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You're that's so mean. That is a perfect example of what the fuck I was talking about. That but right there. The thing is with the mean is because I do mean well and I can't absolutely. articulate it to you. You have to mean. You have to deliver some mean because do. no matter what you do, they they regurgitate it as mean. So if you do productive mean, yeah. 
along with some uh, a helpful mean. You have to always have a dash of mean yeah. for them to be able to take it in. Because a woman don't care about nothing unless it's affecting an yes. emotion. Yes. If you're making her happy or angry, that's when she listens. And a and woman likes a listen. man. <laughs> a woman makes a, likes a man that she feel like is a man. Yes. And somebody that'll tell you, hey, shut the fuck up when you're wrong. If you're not doing that shit every day. Exactly. Uh, you're, so where you're just making her miserable mm. is more so on some, oh, he must be for real but right it, now. But not only that's that. That's the vibe you want to give. Because you do it all the time, it don't mean shit. You want to get a vibe of, oh, that nigga for real right now. any <laughs> woman that you'd say that to, they fucking tingle when you do it. Exactly. It makes them feel exactly. good. Right. And you've That's heard women say sick. things like, I want a man that'll put me in my place. Oh, yeah. Yes. But then you want or a man that'll choked. buy you flowers. Fucking choked. How a nigga going to put you in your place and buy you flowers? <laughs> and we say this about women all the time on the raw And that's why I said you do both. A woman <laughs> want things. That's what they want. They want things that don't even go together. Yeah, they don't even go together. But they I want, want a, them together. Yeah, I want a gangster pussy. <laughs> Want a gangster nigga that's real as fuck. Tell me to shut up. Tell you this to nigga shut to up. shut up. But, but then he get in that kitchen, he'll make me a yeah, cake, but, put the whipped topping yeah. on top. If I ask him to the, not go out with his uh, friends last minute, I want him to stay at home. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of request are these? <laughs> <laughs> like what kind of request are these? Is a, do a nigga that'll yell at you and whoop everybody ass mm-hmm. gonna do some shit like that right before he finna go out? Like no, they don't go together. So that's why I said you buy the flowers, you accept whatever the fuck she got going on, but then you express that you actually hurt my feelings as well. Right. And then when she go back and do the exact same thing, you can say how you expressed it to her mm-hmm. before. And now this is why I'm motherfucking pissed off. And notice that's how you got to do the it. same exact thing. We just presented it in two different ways. Yeah. And my logic behind that is read your room. Know what See, your mine lady ain't. Mine is responds one fits to. all. But no, she's that girl here. That. It's right. This lady here was it's right. Uh, uh, she's more of a dominant woman. Right, she right. takes charge. She tells him what to do. And then he's a people pleaser. So he's known for doing what people want him to do, even if he don't like it. So in this manner, he needs to stand up for to himself in a sterner way because that's not their dynamic. That's what I mean when I say you have to treat who you're See, talking to. That the reason way. that I say it my way. Is because when I drop these breadcrumbs and I give it to you the way that you want it to start with, when we reach this bread, this bridge again, I'm not going to be cool about it. So if I do it your way, then I have every right to not be cool about it when we cross this but bridge then again. Then that allows you to get walk into another uh, dose of it. You're gonna walk into another dose of some bullshit she got regardless. Yeah, but you willingly setting it up. Like, this is your free chance to get away with no. it and bring it again. I express myself. I let you know that I didn't like it. it wasn't you have stern. all the tools you need to not do that to me again. <laughs> and if you do, I'm going to be pissed. Like, it's, it, I, it's the way that I did it to me is the fair way to do it. Yes. I'm going to give it to you how you fair. want. Hell, I talked to my mama, and I'm going to give it to you how my mama want. I'm going to just mm. do it in y'all way. Yeah. And then when it come back around, I'm going to tell my mama to shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you to shut the fuck up about it. And that's what it is. And th- those chances that you wouldn't get your homeboys and you wouldn't get this person, you wouldn't get that person, you have to give a woman. I don't give a fuck if y'all just fucking. Mm. And like I said, all I'm saying is my shit is, I guess, more analog. To where it's, you need to apply this based on who you applying it to. So that's why I say when you say, man, this is confusing. We say, you need all of it. You need to hear what Hype's saying. You need to hear what I'm saying. You need to hear what we said together. And then you need to decide which parts of which you can use, which fits you and which fits. And that's how the shit works. The, the, The thing that I learned from you is that if you don't present that way that shit in a way that's digestible to the women they you didn't digest- say nothing see again. you feel what i'm saying and it's like that like i'm not talking for nothing mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i give it to you your way to get my point across like hey you 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 piss me off and mm-hmm. i even told my brother this i said you need, we need to get to the point where we tell women things like hey that hurts yes. my feelings thank you yeah. Because they assume you don't have any. Exactly. So they go, that's what fuels them to walk over. I can exactly. go and say this to him because he don't care exactly. anyway. He's, he's an Mr. asshole. Like, yeah, he's Mr. He's Mr. Mr. Tough. Exactly. Yeah, you like, don't hey. make you put your own feelings to the forefront, especially if you don't think someone else has those same type of feelings. Like, well, shit, let me care about my shit. Dude. Exactly. Right now. And it, that's that's what, exactly what it makes you and do. This is what the like, raw well, hype brand you, is. The you, raw you hype know? brand is uplifting yourself, yeah. loving yourself, yes. and presenting your yes. best self to another person. The same example that he just gave, I said that to me translates to her saying, I don't give a fuck about you. And all these other years, I'd always be like, I, I'm cool mm-hmm. with that because, you know, I don't give a fuck either way. So it's not a big deal. Right. So it's 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 and, it's just not accurate. And it's because 
they don't even think about you and not even in a malicious way. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. She and did not care yeah, that she had crazy. a panic attack yes, and was hurting. Yes. She just cared that how dare it be yeah. about not uh, me. Oh, wow. Another that doesn't girl? make me feel good. What, why, does she, yes. why do you care about her no so bullshit. much and not me that no you bullshit. got that feeling over her and no never bullshit. me? We broke up. It never made you feel no like bullshit. you want to have a... Yeah, right? That's what happens to them. They yep. go in their own fucking hole, their own yep. black hole, yeah. and they're like, man, I don't care what this yep. fucking pussy saying. This panic attack pussy. <laughs> no he over here shaking and scared about that bitch. He a pussy anyway. That's, That's the truth. <laughs> and, 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 they and, evil, nigga. <laughs> and the reason that men have to be more vocal about their feelings with women is because women do and say shit that a nigga would never do. Like no, I'm talking low down oh, shit that a nigga would never do, but bro. It's it's how they do that. They set you up as this indestructible person. Yes. So when they strike, it's a death blow. Yes. They gotta strike you deep and hard. That's no why bullshit. your mama a bitch and she bald headed, no nigga. Bullshit. It's like whoa. No, but, and I got I got texts like that this week, nigga. No bullshit, nigga. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No bullshit, nigga. Like no bullshit. All right, man. Let's get the show started, man. See, you asked the question, what y'all be doing on the Patreon? This. this. And listening to this and being a part of this, don't you think this should be given to people to help them? Yeah, so then we got to put so it out. So then we got to put it out. <laughs> you know That's how I but, feel about the show, period, though. So I respect that. I but but, but nothing sadly, else, you like can he, always make sure that they get it first. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, yeah. they always get it first, and then, you know, I figured it out. But like I was telling him before, sadly, we don't live in a world where the raw hype can be this 100% yeah, all yeah. the time. So we have to go behind this paywall and hope people yeah. care enough to come behind the paywall to get it. But we don't oh, have enough behind the paywall. You know so we what we need, bro? We need to do one of them segments on TikTok, bro, where they say, uh, give an opinion about something that people will be mad about or whatever if they hear it. We should give an opinion about, like, women for that. And the opinion should be women only care about how they feel. Well, I'm going to clip this right now and then clip this in front of the yeah, clip that I'll put. Like Thank you. Man. Women, <laughs> we ain't trying to do an intro for that woman. <laughs> women only care about how they feel. No, no. Women don't care about anything except for how, how they, they feel. feel. And I honestly, I swear to God, I believe that that is a fact. It's a fact. Bro, it's just, a fact because you see it applicable. Yeah, you I see it. Say, just, I would say just by analyzing, even my mother. Bro. She doesn't give a fuck about nobody <laughs> except for how she feel, bro. <laughs> you ain't she, see what like, I said in the example. She love her son because how her son make her feel. You see what I gave an example? He told his mother no this, and his mother's like, yeah, yeah, fuck all that. Go get that girl some flowers yeah. and tell her you sorry. She don't know another answer. <laughs> like, hey, no. And she's not even thinking, oh, that'll make her feel good. She's thinking that's what a nigga's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we would all think that women want that because they're arrogant and they're spoiled. Mm. and it's, it's not even that. And that's why I say you'll learn that it's not malicious. It's not even that. It's because they need reassurance mm. and they like to feel good. They're uh, like, it's not even addicted to it. They're built, it's built mm. into their DNA. It's and it's, it's emotion. Yes. Yeah. And when I say need to be that it's not a negative, if you realize that it's a fact, then you'll know um, on, a, on a regular basis, I need to make my woman feel good. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you need to know what make her feel good. You also need to it's know that job. you also oh, need to know sure. you don't well, get don't women you don't get women credit. <laughs> like you making her feel good three times this week don't matter no. when you make her upset no. next week. No, that means nothing. It means nothing. No, you can fix her <laughs> credit over the last year. <laughs> Man, I want some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm it's like no bullshit, no bullshit. You can you can fucking put her ass through college, nigga. She be working at that damn job that she went through the college. Like there, everybody getting flowers right that motherfucker. And she come home and say, babe, would you send me flowers to work tomorrow? Like you know I don't be doing that corny shit. That bitch just start fucking somebody else. <laughs> I'm trying to and, and give you that shit as an example. But the point is, if you do, you wasn't she doing won't. Your job. That's what's so crazy about. If you do, she won't. She won't. And that's insane. Insane, mm. but when you feel and when you understand that it's a fact, you use the fact to your advantage. To your advantage, but that, that and that explains everything we was just saying. Yeah, <laughs> and, and again, <laughs> my translation that to it works. is really if you broke down what we're saying in a simple sentence, it would be do whatever you can to make your woman happy if you actually want to be with her. That's literally what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So happy wife, happy life is. True. Oh, that's a fact to what. When all them old niggas, like when I used to watch the Cosby show and shit, and that nigga tell Theo, you ain't going to never understand women, little nigga. And I'd be like, yeah, I will. When I'm grown, I'm like, damn. I started saying this in either 2020 or 2019. Mm-hmm. I started telling him this. I said, I have officially learned so much about women that, that I, I don't, don't know, know what, what to, to do, do with them. Like, no bullshit. Yeah. And then I learned this within the last 
year, year and a half. I and learned this. I truly learned. Lady. Exactly. And that's why he was able to learn it from me because I've yeah. been had a lady. And I exactly. this is how he's like, man. And I don't know if he would agree or what, but you got to look at my relationship and say, man, I would love to have a relationship like this. I respect that. Yeah. Strong, yeah. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. There's no issues. There's no bullshit. I do what I want. I say what I right. want. I go overboard sometimes, right. but it's all in good, healthy fun. She ain't never disrespected. She's admired. She's loved. She feels good. She's confident. She, I do all that shit while still doing what I want and right. maintaining my layer of and happiness and all I'm that shit. I'm exactly the same way. Like, I'll be at home and I'll wake up one day and we'll be hanging out for an hour or two and I'll be like, I'm about to go to Jacksonville. What's up? But I'm not asking. People how to treat you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, I'm not asking, I'm, but I'm also not disrespectful. It's also why you know I told saying? you. Well, My daughter will live here. I'll come here whenever the fuck I want. Why I said to walk in the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to see my daughter again. Up. I will come here whenever the fuck I want, and Just nobody so in the whole world will tell me nothing about it. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like she have enough sense to know that, and she know I'm like that. So it'd be foolish to say something. And then she knows how much I will view that as disrespect to mm -hmm. me. You're not finna tell me nothing that got to do with my motherfucking daughter. Right. And all that training makes it to where you reduce the amount of times you'll have an issue over that. That's definitely some training. Definitely. It's, yeah, for sure. Come on, man. But the same token, though, we, we train ourselves to say, hey, well, I need to make sure that I'm taking care of this. I'm making mm -hmm. sure I'm taking care of this. I'm making sure she's happy. I'm making sure I'm asking the questions. I'm making sure this and that. Like, the shit is mutual. It's just like we always say, a man's supposed to lead a relationship. Lead, uh, so a man need to understand that that's what his woman cares about. In order about. to get the mutual, you, know what I'm she you don't just got to do both. That she don't, <laughs> yeah. She don't give a fuck that you work and she don't. Uh -huh. yeah. like, that was cool when you first got with her, but that don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing, bro. Like, no bullshit. Like, it's I, why women can say shit like, well, you made me accustomed to this lifestyle. So even right. though me and you don't fuck with right. each other, you got to keep up no, my no. lifestyle. But like as a man, if you was dating a woman and y'all lived together and she didn't have to work and you worked, you'd be like, well, of course she's not going to cheat on me. Of course she's not going to leave me. You feel what I'm of saying? Of course she's going to have apple pie made yeah, when I get I'm home. Like, I'm not the ultimate sacrifice out here. But she get over that shit because that can't make her feel good every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she needs exactly. Something new. Exactly, and it's crazy. Like I said, her emotions need to be serviced. Yeah, they like a check engine light, nigga. No bullshit. No matter how good you riding this car, you're not going over the speed limit. That light will come on. Exactly. Like, might have fuck? to might have to trade in. <laughs> but but, uh, but, uh, but it's the truth, man. I don't. I'm like I said, I learned this shit, bro. I know what I'm saying is right. Why is bro. that so funny? To you me? might have to see it. You're a newer model, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> literally, they got a newer model, but. Uh, <laughs> Bars! <laughs> hey, we wrapping on the way. Yes, out, man. man. Let's finish this so we can start the show because we roll it and roll it. Chris, go. We could just keep but, going. We will, and then just cut it. Yeah. Uh. I've been up all night. This one goes out to all the beautiful women out there. Man, shout out to them hoes. Just know we love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like. Uh. Shout out. Go. Shout out to them hoes. To them hoes. Come on over. Please take off your clothes. I don't mean to be rude, but I need you new. You know I'm that dude. I'm eating bitches like food. Did you get it? That's oral sex. Do you get it? I might use protection, but I might not. I might skid inside. If you say you got a baby, I'm gonna need a ride to the airport because I'm leaving, ho. I don't need a reason, ho. You and that baby, shit. Y'all got to go. I don't mean to diss these hoes, but I never love these hoes. I can't even hug these hoes. I fuck these hoes, even ugly hoes. I don't really give a damn. I be eating leg of lamb. Me and your bitch be texting. She be dancing on webcam. And I be throwing them dollars, but she, she on the damn computer. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to these hoes. I already know what you're going to do when you're exposed. Yeah, yeah, you like to party. That means powder in your nose. Uh -huh. But you still coming out them clothes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bitches be looking all good and edible. Niggas be high off edibles. Fucking bitches, I'm telling you, I'm on them. If Ooh. they titty looking ripe, you know I want them. Oh, this yeah. dick is bigger than the rest, bitch, I done want them. Mm. Uh, still gon' deliver. Mm. This shit up in your liver. Soon mm. as I fucking make you quiver. Oh, yeah. 
please lose my number mm. I can't have you calling my phone When I'm at home, never alone Chillin' uh-huh. with my kid until she's grown uh-huh. I been you doing the shit that I want uh-huh. Bitches be getting addicted, they moan mm. Moan, moan, mm. moan, moan <laughs> <laughs> Like boom, 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 boom Before like- I go Shout out to these hoes <laughs> Shout out to them, man Text me, y'all <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to these hey, uh, Speaking of the home, bro, you know how the cloud be having uh, yeah, talk like, while I, while I yeah. Oh, the cloud be having like on this day, oh. and then it'll show you like, oh shit, for that day and shit. Uh-huh. That shit be popping up. It'd be like six different holes. <laughs> <laughs> See, there are hoes in there. I like nigga 2017. I'm sitting on the hoes, boy. boy that, that month of August was rough. I'm silly. Like, there be hoes and I'll be like, damn, I forgot about that bitch, bro. I forgot you existed. Oh. oh can I, I, did I ever tell the story about... Man, let's go. Let's Just end go. The podcast. <laughs> Just go, man. We're going to clip it. I'm going to tell you the story about, like, uh, I had to say this on the podcast that this nigga was on before. Uh, I'm saying it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, uh, every time that I would be, like, running into, like, hoes and Duval or trying to fuck hoes oh, and Duval, God. they already been in foot this nigga. <laughs> But it reminds me of funny Ruthless thing Russell, happened, what they right? call him. That's a funny thing happened to me recently, right? All right, so this little breezy that I smashed or whatever, that Russ fucked and shit, uh, she would basically talk about how, like, he was just a dog, you know, piece of shit or whatever. So I only fucked the whole once or whatever. <laughs> then I booted that whole, like, nobody business. Like, uh, we made plans Birds and shit. Birds of a feather. <laughs> we, we made plans and shit, right? So uh, we made plans or whatever. This is going to be the second time we kick it. And then, like, last minute, I just canceled the shit. And then uh, I was trying to pretend like I ain't know we really had plans and shit. So then she blocked me, right? So then she, uh, yeah, she blocked me. Uh, me. I know her MO. All right. So then, no bullshit. This was a minuto ago, bro. And then last week, bro, she uh, she uh, added me on Snapchat, oh, right? And then she uh, she sent me a message. She said, I just came on here to let you know that my friend that I told about you uh, when you uh, stomped on your Jalen Ramsey jersey, and I thought it was so funny, I had seen that she's still following you. So I came in here to let her know to unfollow you. Huh? Yeah. Like, oh, basically, also, like, she came so to make sure don't nobody fuck with me. Right? <laughs> Wait, like, so she told like, you that she's nigga. only on Snap to yeah. tell her friend to yeah. stop following you? So I just wrote back, like, hey. <laughs> Cause I don't care about this, <laughs> so I just wrote back like, "Hey, how you doing? And how you been? Block me." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "But this is the coldest part," and I swear <laughs> to God. Oh, and she sent a picture of herself with the words and shit, right? So, but I swear to God, bro, I put this on my daughter, I put this on my mama, I put this on my family, bro. Mm. When she sent me the message and I, like her picture was behind behind her, I said, "Damn, I forgot about this bitch." <laughs> <laughs> like, I forgot she existed, nigga. She over there telling her friend, like, fuck this nigga. I'm like, yo, you still I forgot him? you even existed, bro, yo. That's what I'm thinking about. If she said I went shit, bro, we probably knew each other for a month and a half. Mm-hmm. Oh, I knocked her down for a day. I met her. Hey, bro, I'm talking about in total. Oh, bro. yeah. I knew it for about a month and a half, shit. too. Like, yeah. What? Like, yeah, yeah. She was definitely you talking down. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you think he a dog? You ain't met Scruff McGruff. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't messed up the group, <laughs> goddamn bitch. I I birds of a feather, bitch. Oh, goddamn. Cuckoo! Like yeah, cold yeah. off Martin. Yeah. Cuckoo! But yeah, I mean, yeah, you know. Mm-mm. Yeah. And sadly, yeah. super duper sadly, this is why you gotta treat them the way you gotta treat yeah, them, man. Say, yeah. She gonna hold on to whatever feeling Dog. that was for however long that was. And like I Come said, back, I swear to this. you, bro, I forgot she existed, right. bro. So think about like the ratio. I mean that. I'm not he playing. Forgot, I'm not trying to say I'm funny or nothing. He right. forgot her completely. He been on her mind the entire oh, time. Holding on to it, then you're gonna come over here. Yeah, and you think you're it. shitting on me. Yes, because she didn't even let the nigga reply. She, yeah. I don't even wanna see what he I has to say. I don't even know you. <laughs> like, I only knew her name because her Snapchat name is her name. I'm, I don't know you mm. at all. Like, I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. Or you want to talk. I do not. I don't even live here anymore, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you had a nigga don't even live with this motherfucker no more. But I'm like, I don't care about this at all. But that's how they call people. She She's going around still calling him who he was to her the years ago he was that to right. her. That's not a proper representation of who I'm he like, is. What is. But like happening? you just said, she didn't even know you. And she right. told him that right. you, 
ain't shit. shit. So no bullshit. Yeah, what I did. And sadly, no them type of bitches is what give what make men act wrong to women that don't deserve it. Facts. But you have to act that Facts. way to protect yourself. Yes. Because you'll never know when one of them bitches yeah. is one of her type yeah. bitches. All the shit we was talking Man. about as far as how to treat a woman, that's how you treat your woman. Well, exactly. These bitches out here, these hoes out here, you treat them how they ask to be treated. Exactly. Like, no bullshit. You think I want to fuck with a bitch that's, I don't know, that's talking shit about my nigga, so I know you finna do the same thing yep, about to me. me. You know what I'm so, saying? Right. Like, let, but, let me keep the streak going, yeah. baby. And, and <laughs> again, when I remember who she was, I, uh, the pussy was trash. And that's all jokes aside. Yeah. And uh, I knew I was never going to see her again. And she left her weed grind over here. And she was like, um, can you keep that for me? I was like, bitch, you ain't never get this back. <laughs> One, you don't, your pussy don't deserve it. <laughs> and two, it grinds my weed the finest I've ever seen. Like, for real, bitch was like go. a Rick and Morty and shit. I said, I don't watch the show, goddammit, but I'm a fan of this grinder. <laughs> your grinder was yeah. better than your pussy I'm was. Like, if I got to fuck you for you to get your grinder back, no. <laughs> I might fuck you to get a grinder, but I'm not fucking you to give one back, bitch. <laughs> God damn it Clearly Grindr. this is still That other episode uh, shit, I don't know the difference No more Shit I, They, they, they G.I. Joe They camouflage <laughs> I don't know the difference, man. I don't know oh, if we're allowed man. to say this shit or not, man. I know, but right? If this did a Patreon, then we need to end it there. No, we're going to let it go. I All decide right, where man. to end it, where we can end it. Man. But yeah, I ain't even remember her. Like I said, and then I remember her, and that's what I remember about her. Is that the pussy exactly. trash. My mem your memory of me is, he's a dastard man, and let me warn my friends from yeah. being friends with him. My memory yeah. of you is, I have none. And when yeah. you reminded yeah. me, I remember bad no things doubt. only. And <laughs> I'm, I don't <laughs> never think somebody's pussy is trash. Look, that bitch broke I mean, it. pussy is good. <laughs> it in itself, its origin like, is based like, in a beautiful place. It's like, like, like that's. It's you gotta got to go out of your way to ruin same, it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that shit like money. That shit like, pussy and money, I'll take them, God damn it. You know but what I'm saying? When your money got uh, streaks of shit and coke on it, you go, hmm. When was this in a pussy? Was somebody asking? <laughs> Niggas an idiot, bro. <laughs> this gotta be the paper. <laughs> Hell to the no. Russ, but yeah, man. Reckless Russ, to answer your question, this is what we do over here. Yeah. So when you say what they do over there, shit like this. Yeah, we man. don't know if this can go on the main right. show exactly. or not. Because we get to the point where we start liking it. So we like, man, what we gonna do with this shit, man? Because at first we came out kind of slow, but I liked the where we was going, man. I like where we went. Because that's why I said it's Patreon, because we was clearly still warming up. Yeah. And then we got warm. We got warm in game. We like LeBron. You know, we be fucking uh, getting rest in game while we playing. You know? Come on, baby. Ain't We're all no hyping problem. this motherfucker, hey, that, baby. Uh, that, uh, what was the song we just made called? A uh, shout out to these. Oh, yeah, that beat was nice. Like, all that of shot, it was yeah, nice. Yeah, I yeah, love that shit. Was you was killing it. Yeah. I was back here <laughs> bullshitting on the yeah, harmonies. We, we can put that on Apple That's a record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As is, we can put that shit on. No, no bullshit. No bullshit. Put that we shit out, man. New single, new raw hype single called Shout Out to These Hoes. Shout out. On all DSPs when you wake up in the morning. It's real in the field, man. I definitely could clip on freestyles. Oh, we did. That? That's nah, my ultimate goal. We thought about it. But, but it's too much work, man. Yeah, we right. need an editor. We need mm -hmm. someone to help yeah, us with video editing and online yeah. video but posting. Like, that TikTok shit, bro, like, it need to be like some young dude. That's what I mean. It need to be somebody who know what they doing. Man, you know, who know how to hashtag I don't even know how to like shit. See what I'm saying? Nah, I don't even know how to post a TikTok. Nigga. I got, no. I don't got no TikToks, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I got, I got, I got to post, I got to do my TikToks in the editor I'm good with, and then put it. Oh on yeah, <laughs> like the raw hype TikTok look like clips of the podcast. Um, they don't look like TikTok. Yeah. I want to do TikToks. On <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all niggas are old. Thank you. Y'all old. Thank man. you. Y'all niggas old, bro. Don't fall, nigga. I need you. You don't use TikTok, do you? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas old. I don't know that body, bro. I told him, I was like, man, this shit is like 80% yeah. dancing. That's but what it's I not. Saying. What you mean? But it's, it's not. not. It's everything, it's really. Ev it's, it's the best form everything. of social media. Yeah. Better than YouTube? It's the better best. Than it's better than YouTube. Here's why it's the best. This is what makes it the best to me. You don't never see the same video. No, nah. and any, you, anybody can see you. That one got to be following you. And the, like, if you go on there and you just make some funny ass, if you put 10 funny ass skits on there, you'll be famous on TikTok. Not necessarily. I, I see people got like a million views and likes. You go on their next video and it should like 1,500. When, so it's like when some, I say, TikTok does a bad job of transferring over. When I say famous, I mean, that'll be where you had the most followers on all your social okay, media. Okay, there you go. I take that. <laughs> I take like, that. Like, no bullshit. 
That's that a fact. Yeah. That would be where That's you have the fact. most followers on all your social media. I know regular ass people that got 13,000 people Man, in following I know TikTok. regular people that could be getting paid. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah like, I definitely know. People say she get paid from it. But you know? Oh, I know for a fact somebody get paid for it. Fact. Right, let me go bust this piss, yo. All right, man. Um, let's stop it, man, and let's restart. Yeah, man. It. And that's a clip from the Raw Hype Patreon. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com backslash the Raw Hype. Turn up. Turn up, Steve.